That fucking Walter Cronkite, I'm glad he's leaving, because I don't believe that shit he does, man. Walter Cronkite. This is Walter Cronkite. That's the way it is. You ever hear the way he says the word oil? Oil, I think, has one syllable. It's sort of, mm, but it's oil. He says, oil. Listen for that. Not making fun of Walter. Yes, I am. Oil. Well, the oil fields today and the oil companies and the oil industry and the oil prices. That's the way it is. Walter Cronkite. Bullshit, Walter. That's not the way it is. <laughs> the anti-nuclear thing. They call me up a lot. The anti-nuclear alliance or whatever they're called. Some different groups. You know, I'm sympathetic. They call. They say, we're against nuclear energy. I say, shit. Got none at my house. We got rid of everything, you know? As soon as I heard it was dangerous, I said, honey, let's get rid of all this shit. Got rid of all that nuclear washing machine we had. Nuclear fan. All we got left, I think, is them nuclear Christmas tree lights. But God, the kids love them so much, you know. We'll probably hang on to them and take the risk. So you know when you're watching the news at home, don't you hope when you watch the news that you'll be dead when all the really weird shit begins to happen? on the planet yes when the strange you say oh shit i hope i'm not 70 and i can't run you know because <laughs> it's going to get weird you know in the post-atomic age after the first accident that a terrorist has with this little device he thought he knew how to run that london goes away and then all the shit goes down and it's no gas no heat no steam and uh, electricity's only four hours a day. And roving bands of maniacs. That's what I think about, man. You're gonna be sitting at home. You know, think everything's cool. We have, still have a lot of spaghetti. We stuff we buried, honey. We had the lead shield over the canned peas. We've still got water. The dog is dead. We can eat him and everything's gonna be fine. When your mother's, you know, when she gets over that shit, we'll be okay. There's plenty of iodine, you know, and you're really trying to do, and comes a knock on the door. And it's a roving band of maniacs <laughs> that have come to see if you have any stuff they might need. Oh my goodness, yes. All the different groups of maniacs, too. Different kinds of maniacs. First of all, all the prisons will empty. And we'll have the roving bands of prisoner maniacs with their own special brand of party. And they'll be the Hells Angels who haven't been in prison, but have been out practicing anyway. And then there'll be, well, there'll be my group, the Scotch-Irish maniacs, who'll have found, oh, right, they'll have found enough supply of spirits to get them across the continent several times without sleep. <laughs> yeah, and the Vikings will come around again. Should be strange, I don't really have any thing to say about that, except about this country in general, that I do feel one thing I feel happy about this country, I'm proud of, and it makes me feel good. It's the thing I love the most about my country, and it's that no matter where you are in this country, any city at all, you can walk in someplace and buy a Mounds bar. <laughs> I just like that. The country will really be in trouble when we have a president named Lucky. Imagine a guy named Lucky winning the presidency. Lucky Wismore. Holy shit, President Lucky. <laughs> well, we could have used a couple of lucky presidents, you know. Nixon seemed like a lot of people got mad because Nixon never admitted his, uh, you know, his guilt. That's all I wanted to mention. I think it would be nice if he would at least come out and admit that at least he was a real prick most of the time, you know. <laughs> he wasn't guilty. I'm not a crook. I am not a crook. I am not a crook, but I was a prick most of the time. I just like to hear that somehow, you know.